YouTube, how's it going? I hope you're having a great weekend. Hope you're enjoying yourself. Taking some much needed time off. Today we got two blaster boxes of WWE Prism, the debut edition. We rip it all here, so let's get into it. WWE Prism, 24 cars per box. Look for blaster exclusive green, pulsar, whatever. So, yeah, just look look for the shiny stuff, the green stuff, the, the autograph stuff, the numbered stuff. That's what we're looking for. Do, do we really got to spell it out? Is it Could it be any more obvious? That's what we're looking for. So, let's do this. WWE Prism, debut edition. Really exciting. Really exciting. Saray. I don't know really who any of these rookies are. I haven't watched. I did watch WrestleMania, and it was a great time. I used to watch WWE back in the day. Sort of stopped, like, maybe towards a little after Ruthless Aggression, like when Evolution was running the when Evolution was running the show. Ooh, we got something green in here. Shawn Michaels, the Heartbreak Kid. We got a sideways card. We have Jimmy Uso. Green Jimmy Uso. I know Jimmy Uso. I don't know. Um, see, maybe I can get something out of this. We got a green Jimmy Uso of the Uso brothers. Jimmy and Jay Uso. Wasn't always a fan of them, you know. I'm like one of those edgy guys. I like I like the uh, sort of the villain, you know the. Uh, What's it called? The the someone that's a protagonist villain, someone that's just a good heel, you know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what the proper word for it is, but we got a silver silver Finn Balor silver. Really cool looking card. I've always been a fan of this guy. I guess he's been hurt or something. I didn't see him at WrestleMania, but I, I was a really big fan of this guy. He's incredibly talented. It's He had so much hype, I remember, when he made his debut. And then they kind of just didn't know what to do with him. It feels like he's just in limbo. Could be wrong. I mean, I don't, I don't watch this week to week. I do watch some of the bigger pay-per-views. Like, I watched the SummerSlam and WrestleMania. But, um, yeah, no. Uh, I don't know what they've done with Finn Balor. All right, here we go. Let's... Humberto, Jack Stars, and Prismatic Entrances, Big E. So, Finn Balor feels like they're screwing up with that guy. I mean, what else is there? They screw up a lot of guys. All right, so we got Valkyrie, Ginny, like Ginny Sack from The Sopranos, R-Truth, and Edge, Fearless. That brings us to our last pack. These were pretty expensive. These were like 35 bucks, and um, we didn't even get one car that even stands out much. Hopefully the next box is a bit different, but Sasha Banks gold. So that was really bad. <laughs> that was horrible. Like uh, probably just as bad as the UFC blasters, but you know what? Let's stay positive. Let's get something good out of these out of this one I mean I don't know maybe that Finn Balor one is worth a lot. I don't know if he has as many fans as he did a couple years ago but it's such a shame waste of talent what are they doing what are you doing Vince Eric Titus O'Neil Walter what kind of wrestling name is that, Walter? I mean, that, that, that's like the lead, no offense to people named Walter, but that is not an intimidating pro wrestling name. Like, imagine that. Like, you're looking at the WrestleMania poster and you just see in the main event, Walter. Like, who's, who's buying that? Who's buying that pay per view? We got a sideways one. Bianca Belair Green. She, I believe, was a main event wrestler at WrestleMania, and it is a green, so that's cool. Da, 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 da. 
So yeah, we got a green Bianca Belair. Got to imagine that's worth a couple bucks. So as always, do go on eBay at the end of these and look up what these cards are worth. In case you were curious like me. Joseph Connors. Drew McIntyre. Kevin Nash. Yeah, big Kevin Nash guy. Prismatic Entrances, Drew McIntyre. So we got three left here. Let's see, can we strike magic? Can we just get like one monster card? I think we still haven't gotten our silver yet. If there even is one. Okay, Gable Stevenson. I know he's got a pretty bright future. Olympic gold medalist. The Great Khali. You know, when it comes to the Great Khali, I'll never forget when I, we got next level riddle. These are pretty cool, very colorful. I went to, I think it was Hell in a Cell. It was at the American Airlines, now FTX Arena, a couple years ago with my dad. And the great Kali walked out. And to see him in person was very different because he was walking to the, the squared circle and the guy just looked like he was in so much pain, like limping, dragging his leg. Like the human body is not supposed to endure seven foot whatever of body weight. It's just not, you know, it's not normal. The guy just looked to be in so much pain. I felt bad even watching him. Felt bad even paying money to see that guy. Oh, look, Shane O'Mac. We got Rampage Brown, and we got Silver. That looks like a ponytail at the top. Could it be Charlotte Flair? It wasn't even a ponytail. It was her shoe. But we got a Silver Charlotte Flair. I imagine this is worth something, too. We got another WrestleMania main eventer, Silver. So really cool. Take Jimmy Uso off. And look at that. Charlotte Flair Silver. And that'll do it, everybody. So... WWE Prism, I mean, this is a cool car. The, I love these silvers. I imagined when basketball and football Prism come out, getting a silver rookie. Look at these guys. Like, these cards are so nice. They blow away mosaic. I really love this year's Prism. Look at that. Just imagine, like, a Zach Wilson, Justin Fields silver Prism or a Cade Cunningham, Josh Giddy. Yeah, I'll be, I'll be all over that product. So thank you all so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. I hope you have a great rest of your weekend. Let's go on eBay and see what some of these cars are going for. DJ rips with his fingertips. He'll go broke by the end of this